Hey, what's up, everyone? Haven't seen you guys in so long. I uh, know. I like my stupid little show, Vampire Diaries. But, Logan, being shy. He's getting so big. Let me get that one. Let him say hi. But, anyway, Logan, it's bath time. It's bath time. It's bath time. Come on, kids. They get so excited for bath time. But, anyway, uh, apparently somebody saw me in Philly. Yeah, I was out there buying a bunch of units. I uh, ended up uh, buying 14 rooms. So, last week I've been grabbing my hand. Logan, stop kicking. Last week I've been busy cleaning them out. Got a lot of good stuff. A lot of trash also. But, haven't been posting videos because... Like I told you guys last time, somebody threatened my family. My family's too important to me. YouTube's not that important. Once you threaten my family, no, I, I, I can't handle that. It's uh, too much stress. So uh, basically just been doing my own thing. I tried to do some videos in the summer again, but a lot's been going on. I'll take a video tomorrow. Uh, yard and everything's literally a mess garage is a mess just everything is a mess because daily i i'm with the kids uh, i got no time wife works so it's not like we're not lazy people i'll tell you that <laughs> but we got big goals for 2023 all right Liam, stay out the camera because you're already getting undressed. But all we can do is keep moving forward. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me as long as you have. All right. You getting excited? But uh, like I said, I'll try to do more videos uh, in the summer. But I'll try to take a video tomorrow, show you guys what's been going on. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Me and uh, Big Dan almost killed ourselves loading that, and that thing picked it up so easy, which is amazing. All right, so we are back to clean out a storage unit. I know I haven't uh, been posting much videos. Looking for a bathroom right now, but doesn't seem to be a bathroom anywhere nearby. But this is the unit we got. Oh, uh, let me look at this damn map. Uh, no, I ain't walking. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll get you guys back once I about to open up this unit. I gotta find a bathroom. Apparently, no bathrooms. So, last couple of weeks we spent about. Fifteen hundred to two thousand bucks on units. So this unit we paid seventy bucks for. Let's see what we got. Oh shit! 
Damn, I forgot how much was in here. Crap. At least it's only a uh, 10 by 10. But this thing's packed. So, I see a scooter already. I see some totes back there. That's always good. Bunch of saws, picks at, uh, pickaxe, some uh, flashing. All right, well, we'll start pulling some of this. Yummy. Start pulling some of this out and uh, throw some trash away. Hopefully you get some of this cleaned out. All right, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to post the video or not. But uh, this is some stuff I got from uh, house clean out. And uh, a locker I was cleaning out also. A big scrap locker. Oh, can't get that on there. Bunch of creepy dolls. Alright guys, I got 12. At least make it 15. Uh, what do you think? 17. That's 16, 7 I can't do it because mm -hmm. a lot of them, like I said, I would get two bucks each, I only charge you a dollar. I just got some cars uh, from you earlier. Four bucks. Four bucks? Nope. Uh, do seven bucks for it. Five. No. I got the oh, buck. Yep, thank okay. you. Thank you. Anything inside of it? Nope. Uh, dollar. Alright, so show you guys what else is on the table. So this was all from the house clean out, which I guess it's pretty good. A bunch of different tools, some good, uh, uh, doesn't even have the blade. What kind of crap is that? But then this stuff over here, Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So this stuff over here was from my uh, scrap unit. Uh, two bucks. Three bucks. Hello. I got a pair of pliers, the thing of Brasso, and two of these. Five bucks. Alright, I can't video right now. Too many people, but trailer's still packed and everything. I'll get you guys back later. Alright, so we're selling a bunch of stuff. I uh, sold the big box of uh, vintage porn. Uh, it was my first time selling stuff like that. And like I was telling a guy, it was like... He was like, well, how do you know it's vintage? I was like, well, in my time, women and stuff. Uh, all right, this is very inappropriate for YouTube, but uh, women and stuff, they have all the hair and stuff down different places. So, plus looking at the years, it was like 1960 something. But, I was like, yeah, and he was like, oh, well, yeah, nowadays it's a lot different. I was like, yeah, think. So I had a good conversation about porn, which was also weird. But selling a lot of different things. Uh, uh, it's three bucks.
Like even this, I don't know what I'll do with most of this. Stanley. All the brass, I'll try to pull the brass ones out, like this one. Scrap the rest. But we'll see how the day goes. And then I was, nah, three bucks for it. I was actually surprised uh, how many people I saw today. Saw Dave, saw Naz, saw Kyle. Uh, even had some idiot scream a name. Oh, fuck you, Dad. Not once, but twice. So, that's always funny. I like it, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. What am I going to do with all these dolls? Told a guy five bucks a piece on them. Then he was like, well, what if I take them all? I was like, well, you got all these. You got all them. Yeah, if you take them all, yeah, I'll do a lot cheaper. But he was like... No, I just want certain ones. Yeah, you want all the old ones. The old, like, very good ones. So, I'm not stupid. But, things going pretty good. Uh, I know I'm getting people dizzy, turn around and everything. Had this whole baggage trailer packed with stuff, so hopefully uh, I'll have enough room once I pack everything back in here, because I uh, brought the tables in the back of my truck. Ugh, even more dials still. There's some other stuff in here, but I don't feel like bringing much more out. Like, uh, doing good as it is, and... I just don't want to bring that much more out, and then I gotta pack all this away. Max and ten bucks for it. Okay. Yep. So as you guys can see, how busy my spot usually gets. How you doing? Not too bad. All right, so it kind of, well, I can't say a little bit. Kind of died down a lot, but uh, we sold quite a bit. We sold out of these, well, the yellow cabinets over there that used to be here. Oh, I was gonna take them home, hang them in the garage, but money's money. I like the money better than anything else. So, uh, sold quite a bit. Uh, actually, been uh, condensing some tables because it's been like so empty on some of them. And uh, people are loving the prices. Uh, guy bought, so you see the big cans right there? Uh, they were filled with nuts and bolts. I told the guy 10 bucks a piece because you always need them. He was like, oh, uh, I can't pass up on that. Hey, he, he wanted it right away. So I think that's what I'll start doing uh, when I get a lot in lockers instead of just all right stuff like this if it's open or halfway full just instead of throwing them away i'll keep dumping them in something uh something that's like heavy duty maybe a vase or something that way they see how many's in there and then just sell the vase for 10 12 bucks i got all these little ones but i was actually two three bucks a piece for them bunch of people bought them but I don't know just learning like different ways to sell different things like this big brass thing if nobody wants that that will go to my scrap pile the big lamps uh, went into the attic and found them all the way in the back so I was like oh they're pretty cool but if you see there they're so old it's cracking and that's a uh, pot metal, so they don't really 
if they were brass, they'd be worth a lot, but pot metal, they're not worth that much. That's the sad part. But all in all, I had to apologize for uh, what I was saying earlier about the porn and everything. I have no filter. I told myself when I was first doing YouTube, I wouldn't have a filter. I don't want to be fake like some of those other people. I say what's on my mind and I really don't give a shit. Like I got, I didn't really want to be fake. Like I am the way I am and I don't want to change it. I know I talk tons, but that's what I gotta do. Another thing is, uh, my mother's in the visit, so she's helping out a ton. She's actually watching uh, the kids right now while I'm out here selling. So, Mom, if you're uh, listening to this, I love you and thank you for all your help. Now I just got to get my damn brother out here and he can watch the kids one day and see what I go through. They don't want kids of his own. Well, I don't know. He might, but he might adopt kids or something like that. I don't get it. That's all I got to really say. Uh, we might start packing up pretty soon. Uh, I got a bunch of totes empty in the back of my truck, uh, so that way we don't have to use all these boxes and everything anymore. But I made some good money today. All right, we'll see everybody later. Bye. All right, so I had so much stuff out and I have so much left to pack. But I tried paying like six different people to help me pack i mean look at the market it is dead but nobody wants to work nobody wants to work which is very annoying like uh, a couple people want some stuff one guy had like 22 dollars worth of stuff i was like all right pack four totes and i'll give you all the stuff oh no no i'm good i'm good like, are you that dumb? Or are you just that lazy? Like, I'm sorry, that, that's annoying. I got my mom at home with my kids. So trying to pack up real quick, but goddamn people don't wanna work. All right, well, I'll stop complaining and get to continue packing. Alright, so, uh, finally just got out of there, got everything, uh, hooked up and everything. You guys can see, uh, the sun, sunset behind me. Yeah, it's getting dark. I'm, I'm tired as ever. But, uh, did a thousand twenty-two dollars. Somehow. I don't know how. Either I had money stuffed in my behind or something but I did not know I made that much I was selling stuff left and right but I count how much I actually made I was like what well uh, before I actually packed up I texted my wife because I counted and I was at $9.99 I was like you watch Brit I won't even make that extra dollar so uh, she she called me and she said she had an extra five dollars in her pocket. She forgot to give me. So uh, added that in. So that finally pushed me over. And then as I'm packing up, like you get the little last stragglers, and a couple people bought a little bit of stuff. And then uh, one guy even paid uh, five dollars on Venmo. But. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just ready to be home with my kids, get something to eat, uh, take a shower, and then I gotta give the kids baths and everything. But thank you guys for watching that one of my adventures. 
I know it's been a while, but we'll see you next time. All right, bye.